Welcome to the next video from the Dutch Watch Dude. This time I have an Escort a Symphony Automatic Watch. It's a watch that is sold through two supermarket chains, the Aldi and the Lidl in Holland and probably in some other uh, countries in Europe. I'm not sure about it. Inside it is just another, and I say it a little bit uh, just for information, not negative. It's just another Chinese watch. It is a watch with a movement that has 22 jewels. That's also the only decoration that you can find on the rotor or on the movement at all. It has a see-through back. That's obvious if you actually use your screen. It is a limited edition, yeah, well, the whole limited edition thing about a watch like this is probably that there are only 100,000 uh, watches produced, because a watch that is sold in a supermarket for around 120 euros will probably not be that limited at all. It's not a bad watch, not bad at all. It has a nice dial. I will zoom in again to show you the dial. It has uh, a moon face. Uh, it has a 24 hours uh, sub dial. And the second hand is actually placed on another sub dial. It has an open heart, uh, as they like to call it. I don't like it personally. It makes a watch more uh, looking cheap as luxury or whatever, but. There are a lot of people who are actually liking and watch that you can see some of the uh, work inside. You can see the release wheel and that is actually quite nice. The thing is with a watch like this, if you want to adjust the watch, uh, uh, something I really like to do to make uh, it run uh, even better, it's very hard because you have to remove the complete uh, movement from the watch because the possibility to adjust the watch is actually moved from the back of the movement to the top. I was looking for a little pointy device but I cannot find it. Uh, but if you know uh, how a watch works you know uh, what I mean. It runs actually quite well. It is uh, running last 30 seconds uh, every few days, so that is acceptable for a watch in a price range like this. The finishing is also not bad at all. It has a slightly decorated crown. I think that is the Escot logo. I'm not sure about it because I don't even know the name Escot. Yeah, I know it's a horse race in England, and that is. Probably why they put the name on this watch. The strap is something else. Really high quality. Thick leather. Nice stitches. It's a used watch. So yeah, the strap is also uh, used. And you can see that. But it's nice. The crown protection. Also a little unusual. But I like things that are not... Uh, or standard, regular, whatever. <laughs> Bezel is not rotating. It's uh, just to protect the crystal. The crystal is a sapphire crystal. In this case, uh, you can see it. People did use the watch. I like that. A watch is for use and not to put in an... Uh, safe or anything like that so yeah it's damaged but uh, it gives the dial some character there is loom not much but there is loom the hands are loomed the hour uh, indicators and the 12 is actually is uh, coated with loom it doesn't last long it's not a new watch it's probably 15 years old so normally you should have quite an uh, amount of loom left but Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not the case. It's nice that it is a water resistance of 20 bars or 20 atmosphere. That means you can put the watch in standing water 200 meters deep. You should 
go diving and snorkeling with it. I don't think it's a good idea because for the money that you pay for this watch, it cannot be a real uh, diver's watch and it cannot be... I, it's hard to believe that a watch with a, doesn't have a screw down crown. I forgot to mention that. This, it's not a screw down crown. It's also not a uh, manual wind watch. You can only uh, wind it by moving it. It's a little bit uh, unusual. Most of the Chinese watches, they are actually, uh, you can just wind them and uh, they do the job and they keep their uh, power by wearing it. This one, you really have to shake it a little bit and it will run and then it runs really nice. It really runs nice in the watch winder also, but you cannot wind it uh, if you lay it down for a uh, few days. Then it just stopped and uh, you have to shake it again. You cannot wind it every morning and lay it back. That is simply impossible. You can shake it every morning, but yeah, it looks quite stupid. There is not much information about it. What's, uh, that is actually one of the reasons I make this video because if you look for an escort watch there is only a little bit of information about uh, that they were on sale uh, in those supermarkets but prices and who actually is making those watches i did not uh, found out yet if somebody knows who is actually making these watches and what movement is inside i know i can open the watch and uh, find out but i just let it uh, as it is if you know anything more, uh, you can always uh, mention it on Instagram or in the comments on the YouTube channel. For now, I say thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video about the Exxon Escot Symphony Automatic Limited Edition watch. Have a nice day.